think we blew her up. What's up, machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh and fresh to death. Uh, a lot of people are asking for like more raw footage and, and less edited footage. So uh, we'll try this out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. The last video, you guys killed it in the comment section. Today with the Gator, the Gator is extremely muddy from our last ride, extremely muddy. This is the muddiest we've ever gotten it. We shot some rooster tails. Uh, the Gator performed extremely well. Nobody died, which was, which was also a, a huge benefit or a huge uh, relief, at least. Uh, the air filters though, they are definitely getting hit with mud and that's not good at all. I mean, granted, our rides aren't that long. Our rides are probably you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. The engine's probably only running for like 25 minutes. That will result in a fix so that that won't happen in the future. Uh, one huge thing that you're seeing that we definitely need to address is mud flaps. The mud is just going everywhere, all over us. It's on my camera. And uh, that's something that is a huge, huge, huge thing that we got to deal with. The second thing, we need a, some sort of cover over the belt so that if that belt ever does decide to blow up, which it doesn't show anywhere at all, um, you know, that the driver is protected, the passenger is protected, and nothing goes, you know, too bad. The last and final thing is probably the most obvious, and that's our exhaust. Our exhaust has to be dealt with right now. Uh, it's you know this is what it's gonna you know sit like it's all gonna be redone um, it's gonna be sandblasted and everything's gonna look brand new along with like everything on this engine later on down the road but right now uh, we have our expansion pipe and that goes to nothing it literally goes on the ground right down here this is the original exhaust all it basically is is just a box and then I don't know, it sounds like it's not, it's rusty and crusty, but it doesn't sound like it's in too good a shape. It sounds like all the stuff that used to make it quiet is now gone. And then here's the exhaust we used on the last uh, Gator engine, the 18 horsepower Kohler, which is down under here next to the pile of engines that we, you know, we got going on here. This is the original Gator engine, Gator engine 2.0, and then we have Gator engine number three, which has not let us down for, for anything. This thing is an absolute tank, absolute beast, absolute machine. So I got the cardboard out, got some steel out, and we made our first piece here using a cardboard template and you know making that into steel. I also have another piece that goes over the like recoil area. It'll go back here. And I also have a, a cardboard cutout at least the this, this steel piece for this one is right over here and i'll go over there but i have the cardboard cut out right here because i ran out of steel and then i'm also working on a cover for the engine so you don't see like these wires and the fuel rail and the coolant line stuff like that but you do get to see the 580 still because that's a turn on at least in my opinion i'm really excited about putting all this steel on here because we'll get uh, decals made we'll make this thing look extremely froggy fresh We'll put decals on everything. I came up with a new name for the Gator as well. We'll call it the Instigator. And the last thing I wanna say before I cut out that piece of steel is what color do you guys want the bolts on this engine? I was thinking red. I mean, we could go black, we could go silver, but I was thinking red because uh, I wanna do some other decals, green and red, so that way we have uh, white, red, and green. A sick color scheme, and you guys, some of you came up with that. And I think that would look a lot better than this green and yellow scheme that's going on right now. Excuse the power stroke in the background. I picked up some. St you didn't have to do that. Uh oh, let's do it again. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna keep it just like that, so it's nice and raw. I went to the. I went to go get some steel. I was just informing you guys. I got some steel, and Chris uh, is very gentlemanlike and turned off his truck. I was looking for those. Yeah. But hey, thanks you for keep thanks. Them right there. Thanks for turning it off. Oh, sure. So so gentleman of you. Well, I you know. Rattle trap. Cool, the exhaust parts just came in. Hopefully everything here will make an exhaust for the Gator. Because the Gator has a custom exhaust, or is going to have a custom exhaust, because what we've done here so far, nobody makes this thing. 
So we gotta make this thing. So I managed to get my first piece on here. What I did was that I actually welded an adapter inside this 90 right here so that it seals down there real good. The uh, exhaust donut isn't on there right now. That's somewhere up here, right there. Um, so now, I got my first 90. Now, what I'm going to do is take probably about four inches of that stuff, cut it, take my next 90, come right up here, and then somehow finagle that exhaust on there. And I hope, after I'm done finagling this, that it is quiet, er. Just finished MIG welding it. It's up here. Now we, uh, we're gonna see if this thing's gonna fit on here without any issues. I think I'm gonna have to adjust for those two pipes come together. The spring just isn't pulling it the right way, so the gasket or the donut's not really working the best, so. But I'm gonna try it. It's probably sealing about 70% of that. guys I was never good at parallel parking so we have the gator on its side totally kidding just checking out the bottom of the tires they look good I'm having a little situation with the exhaust right now fitting this portion up to that portion has been a little bit more complicated than I thought so why not just tip the gator on its side so why not dial it in in a little bit more of a sketchy fashion it's definitely sketchy approved so we flipped the gator back down, the gas tank is still out of it, so we're not sure if it's gonna start back up because I accidentally did something stupid, and I left a battery inside the, the chassis, so hopefully the battery's not fried by, you know, the, the fluid's going in the wrong spot. So we gotta slap that in there. Right now we're working on updating the website, so don't be afraid to check that out. Let's slap this gas tank in here. And the good news is, when I do turn the switch on, I do hear the fuel pump kick on, and this thing isn't throwing any codes, so the battery's working, the computer's working. Time to see what this thing really sounds like and how much quieter it is. I'm hoping and praying. I'm hoping and praying. Exhaust clamps. <laughs> we just uh, <laughs> blew this thing apart. <laughs> we got the money. We got the list. You got your license? I don't think that's something I want to. I don't think that's something I want to bring along. No, I don't want to bring that along. We got the grocery list. That's all that matters. Fire it up, buddy. Can I put some earphones on? No. Oh, you fix the exhaust? Yeah, we fix the exhaust. I hope we don't. I know. I hope we don't get pulled over. Yeah, we need a second clamp. <laughs> I was hoping that one clamp would be enough. I can't believe there's that much pressure behind that. Six and a half hours later. Oh, she's welded. Take two. <laughs> if the cops catch us, you're the faster runner. Just get out of there. No, I ain't gonna run. Two hours later. This isn't working right. No? No. I don't know. Should we get go there anyways? May as well. She's moving along, I'm all out of time cards. We're there! <laughs> oh, we gotta hide this. We gotta, we gotta hide this. Let's just, let's just go inside. <laughs> oh, we know what, no one's gonna steal it. So are we gonna call this thing the instigator? Or the, what is it called? The grocery gator? Yeah, the grocery gator or the instigator. I, I, I'd say instigator because this thing's gonna cause a lot more trouble than just getting groceries. <laughs> you don't think so? Just ask the neighbors. Yeah, right. <laughs> but what do we need? What are the chances that like the cops were called in that little rip? I don't think we. No, I, I mean I, I doubt someone. Hopefully the cops. not. It's just if someone was just patrolling, that's what it would have to be with. <laughs> Try out, right? I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing's running like crap right now. 
just fall in the garage. They fall in the driveway just shit the car. This is gonna break. Here, Cole, carry that. Uh, like tea. <laughs> Got it, can't count it. <laughs> Actually. Why don't they like come out with something that like you can like walk around the store to like hold your groceries? They do, it's called the instigator. It just didn't fit through the doors. You have to make some modifications. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Actually put the put the rice crispies on top. Oh. Ginger snaps. You don't like good old ginger snap. You want a ginger snap? No. <laughs> I could get you a ginger snap, no problem there. Then we have enough sugar here to cause um, some serious discomfort in our stomachs. Right, we got... I mean, we don't have enough to fill the gator, but we have got quite a bit. <laughs> That's gonna rip. So I really don't trust that. Yeah, right? All right, we good? We have a sweet tooth. We're gonna run our teeth out for days. <laughs> We gotta get the hell out of here. All right. All right, start her up, Leonard Buck. Let's get home. I don't think we have time for a dry ride. It's not running good right now. the gator <laughs> wait yeah we blew it up blew what up the engine there's no power to it no power yeah you see how it's we i have it pinned and it's not moving <laughs> really? we're gonna either have to get the duramax and pick this thing up triple a i don't think they cover this i wonder if we have too much pressure on the exhaust that's what i was thinking but i don't want to open up that exhaust right now because it'd be screaming loud i think we're just gonna have to push this thing home I hope you guys enjoyed this Green Machines production. We're gonna have to push this thing or get the Duramax, one or the other. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, Cole and 3D Machines out. See you later. Let's get pushing. Damn. It's not running, officer. <laughs> Guess we should have test drove it before we went and got groceries. Yeah, where are you gonna do that? <laughs> That was a test drive. Well, the risks were calculated. Oh, yeah. But man, are we bad at math. <laughs>